Welcome to this practice, yin practice for low back tension. Come to a seat on your mat or on a cushion or bolster. Close your eyes. Bring your fingers into Jin Mudra or Gaya Mudra, some people know it. Fingers together. Place them on your lap. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. And a long breath out. Deep breath in. Long, slow breath out. Our first pose today is going to be knees to chest. So come to a lying position on your mat. You can bend or straighten your left knee. Take your right knee into your chest. Take a breath in. As you exhale, just hold and breathe normal. With yin poses, we just hold the pose, not so deep that it hurts, but just enough to feel the engagement. Take a long breath in. A long, slow breath out. Close your eyes. Relax for the day. And your option is to always bend the left knee if the right knee is uncomfortable or if your back is uncomfortable. I'm going to straighten my left leg, pulling my right knee in. So heal my breath. and my cues, and it's time to come out of the pose. Breathe normal. Take a long breath in, long breath out. Go ahead and roll your right ankle to the right, and your right ankle to the left, just getting some movement in that ankle. Go ahead and take your left knee into your chest. Roll around in circles in one direction, round in circles in the other direction. Hold on to the left knee and take the right leg either into a bent leg position or all the way down to the floor. Press that right leg down just a little bit. Take a breath in. As you exhale, pull the left knee in towards your shoulder. And just breathe. We're going to be here for just a little while. So the yin practices help restore circulation to the area of tension. And when removing, which is this one-legged bent knee pose, is really nice for any kind of digestive issues. That's why I like to start with the right leg and go to the left. Just go ahead and relax in this pose and you'll hear me breathe and start speaking to you when it's time to come out of the pose. Take a long breath in, long, slow breath out, and go ahead and circle your ankle first to the right, and then go to the other direction, just bringing some circulation into your ankles. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, bring that right knee back in. And then go ahead and just circle both of your knees. 
of massaging your sacrum. It's a really nice massage for your sacrum. Baby dragon is next. So go ahead and roll up, and which is kind of known as runner's lunge. So we're gonna start with the right leg. Knee is down, you can always put a pillow underneath this left knee. Right leg is going to be in front. And you can hold on to blocks if you choose to, or you can just have both hands on the floor. That's your option. And your head can stay up or you can drop it down. It's completely up to you. I'm going to use blocks for this particular pose. And this pose opens up the front hip flexor, the psoas. So just breathe into this pose. Long breath in, long, slow breath out. And we're gonna be here for just a little while, so just relax into the pose. And if you don't have a blanket and your knee is still uncomfortable, take your mat and fold it over and then you can put your knee on a bent mat if the floor is uncomfortable for your knee. It's up to you. Breathe. Long, slow breath in, long, slow breath out. Go ahead and push back into a hamstring stretch, pulling your toes towards your nose. Come back into your lunge, step your right leg back. Bring your left leg forward. You can hold onto the blocks if you choose to. Put a blanket or a pillow underneath your knees, whatever you'd like. You can even put your blocks on higher levels if this is more comfortable to be in a straighter position for your back, a little less strained, have to bend all the way down. So you take whatever option you'd like. And like I said, you can always put hands on the floor. So whatever you prefer. I'm gonna come back to just using the blocks. Breathe. You can close your eyes. There's no straining in any of these poses. You're just gonna go to your edge and back up just a little bit. And just breathe. You can imagine the front of your hip just opening up, unwinding, giving you more room in that front right hip flexor. Take a long breath in, 
Long, slow breath out. Just another long breath in. And as you exhale, push back into a nice hamstring stretch for your left leg, pulling your toes close to your nose. Just opening up the back of that hamstring. And don't move too quickly. Just go ahead and come out of that pose and sit for a moment in hero's pose with, I invite you to use a block underneath your hips. And I invite you to do a dangling forward fold. So come up to the top of your mat and just fold forward in this dangling forward fold. And breathe. Your knees can be bent a lot or just a little bit. It's completely up to you. You can even swing back and forth a little bit, whatever you'd like. And breathe. And I'll be silent for just a little while. So you can be like playing some music on your own or just listening to your thoughts. And you'll hear my voice when it's time to come out of the pose. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Long, slow breath in, long, slow breath out. Start to unroll, pushing yourself with your hands out of this pose into a standing position. And come to sit down on the floor. Squat down into your malasana. You can use a block for your malasana or you can use a towel or some blocks underneath your feet. You're going to be here for a couple of moments, so just do whatever you'd like, whatever feels like the best pose for you. And you'll see me in profile on this one. I'm just sitting on this block. And then when I take it away, you can just come into your wide-legged yogi squat and just sit in this pose. So we'll be here for just a couple of minutes. So do whatever is the most comfortable for you in your wide-legged squat. And breathe. Imagine your back lengthening out, the tension leaving your back. I welcome you to say the mantra. 
My back is strong and so am I. My back is strong and so am I. So we'll be here for a couple of moments. And when it's time to come out of the pose, you'll hear my voice again. I'm actually gonna turn towards you so you can see that my feet and my knees are actually going the same direction when I'm not using a block. And if your heels do come up, you're welcome to put a towel or something underneath your heels. So just breathe and enjoy. Don't forget to smile. Take a long, slow breath in, long, slow breath out, and we're just getting some movement here. We're just moving from side to side, coming out of this malasana. If you use the block, go ahead and push that away and come to sit down on your glutes, and you're welcome to sit down on a folded up blanket if you'd like. Go ahead and just move your legs around a little bit. We're going to go ahead and lay down on the floor. So just push yourself back onto the floor into a reverse child's pose. So lay back on the floor. Take your knees and pull them into your chest. And if you can, wrap your arms around your knees or just hold your knees. And if that's not comfortable and you want to just relax into this, Take your strap, put that around the top of your knees and just pull the strap down. So now you don't really have to um, hold so tight. So whatever you choose to do, whether it's hands or wrap, push your tailbone down towards the floor, flatten out your neck slightly and breathe. This is great for digestion, but also for low back pain. So I'm just gonna wrap my knees my arms around my knees and just breathe. And we'll be here for a couple of moments. Do whatever variation works for you. And you'll hear my voice when it's time to come out. It's a little harder to breathe in this pose, but it's great once you come out of it as far as digestion and low back pain. No straining, just breathing. Long, slow breath in, long, slow breath out. If you were holding on to your knees or wrapped them, just go ahead and take your hands on your knees and roll around in one direction, giving your sacrum a really nice massage. Rolling around into the other direction, just giving a nice massage to your sacrum. Take a breath in and we're gonna, next pose is gonna be supported bridge. So it's really nice to have a block. You can put that on any height that you want. Legs are gonna be hip distance apart. Heels are gonna be almost to your hands and just lift up your glutes and you can put this block on any portion of your sacrum that you'd like, either the lower 
the higher or the medium. I'm going to put mine on medium. I just take a nice breath in and a slow breath out. If you want to kind of engage your inner thighs for just a couple of moments, you could take the other block and just squeeze in your inner thighs just to engage those muscles and then just go ahead and relax and remove that block or leave it in there if you want to keep that engagement with your inner thigh. Hands are going to be up in a receiving motion and just breathe. Let yourself relax in this pose. No place to be, nowhere to go. All day to get there. And I invite you to say, my back is strong. I am strong. Take a long breath in, long, slow breath out. Go ahead and lift your glutes up slightly and then just move the block out from underneath you and put that aside and lower your hips down to the floor. And then go ahead and grab your knees and, and relax that sacrum one more time, going one direction and then the other. Pull your knees in, and as you exhale, go ahead and drop your knees over to your right side and open up that left arm to the left, getting a nice twist in your left side. Now, you're welcome to put a block in between your knees or underneath your legs if they don't reach the ground. If not, you can just hold on to your bent legs with your right leg, opening up your left side. Your head can turn either to the left or to the right or look straight up. So I'm just going to turn my head towards my left hand and breathe. Let your back unwind. Enjoy the process. Let this yin relax the store of the back. This is a great practice to do before bed or even after a long, hard day at work. So I'm just going to be quiet for just a little while while you just unwind your back. Take a long breath in, long, slow breath out, and then bring your knees to the center. Rearrange your back if, you've, if it's moved over to the left. And you can, if you'd like, move your back slightly to the right. Take a hold of your knees and just twist to your right, letting your right arm lay, I mean, twist to your left, excuse me, letting your right arm lay out and your knees are going to the left. And breathe. My back is strong and so am I. And enjoy this wonderful restorative twist pose. And we'll be here for a couple of moments. Enjoy.
these yin poses, there's no pressure to get into the posture. You're just letting your body unwind. So no straining, no pressure. Just enjoy the opening of the back, the opening of the heart and the twist in the waistline and the hips. Taking a nice breath in. And a nice breath out. One more time, long breath in. Long, slow breath out. And then go ahead and assist your knees up into your bent knee resting pose. You can take your feet a little bit wider than the mat and just go ahead and do some really nice windshield wipers. Just right knee to one side, left knee to one side. Just oiling up your hips just a little bit so you get that really nice feeling. And when you're ready, after you've had enough of that, you can leave your knees together for your Shavasana, which is really nice if you have back tension. You can put a bolster or blocks underneath your knees. Bolster would look like this. And let your knees just lay over the top. This can be your Shavasana. Take a breath in, take a breath out whenever you're ready. Go ahead and take your hands, put one hand on your heart, one hand on your abdominals. And take a breath in, squeeze your toes, relax your toes. Squeeze your calves, relax your calves. Squeeze your quads, relax your quads. Squeeze your glutes, relax your glutes. Pull in your abdominals, take a breath, relax them. Take your hands and squeeze them and then relax, let them fall at your side. Pull your shoulders up, scrunch your shoulders, relax them. Squish your face all up. Breathe in, relax your face. If you have a blanket or a towel to cover your eyes or an eye mask, go ahead and use that. Let it all go. No place to be, nowhere to go. All day to get there. And if you can take a 10-minute Shavasana, even if that's the only thing you do, you don't even do any practice besides that, that's wonderful for your nervous system and your back. So breathe in, filling up your belly with air. Exhale, letting it go. Breathe in again, filling your belly with air. Exhale, just let it go. And just take a breath in. And exhale, and you're welcome to stay here in the Shavasana as long as you'd like, but if you're ready to get out, places to go, things to do, go ahead and remove any props that you used and stretch out as long as you can. So arms above your head, point your toes, stretch one way, then the other, nothing extreme, just some movement. Breathe in, and as you exhale, turn to one side pulling your knees into your chest. And you can stay here for a moment. Put your head on a block if you choose to. Breathe in and exhale. You can stay in that child's curled up pose or you can come to a seated position on a block or on your bolster. And whether you choose to stay in Shavasana or you choose to come out, come to a seated position on your mat. 
Put your fingers back in your chin mudra, gaya mudra. Close your eyes. Reflect on your practice. My back is strong and I am strong. Giving thanks for your body for everything that it does. Thank you so much for coming to this practice and I hope to see you again on the mat soon. Let's do one sound of Om, one sound of peace. Om. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing. Be good to yourself and each other.